Musk is one of those revolutionary figures in history who never seems to have enough, continuously presenting groundbreaking ideas one after another. In the latest development, Musk has once again made headlines in the aerospace community with a groundbreaking presentation at Starbase. In this event, he introduced a revolutionary solution, something no other company has thought of before. Before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the space industry, and particularly SpaceX. It's ironic that SpaceX is introducing the most revolutionary ideas into the space industry, while established giants like NASA are largely following the traditional and costlier methods of launching rockets. When SpaceX entered the space industry in 2002, it was a newcomer in a field dominated by giants like NASA and Boeing. At the time, these organizations were using traditional methods for space missions, which typically involved expendable launch systems. SpaceX began with a vision of reducing space transportation costs and enabling Mars colonization. Initially, they faced numerous challenges, including three consecutive failures of its first rocket, the Falcon 1. However, the fourth launch in 2008 was successful, marking the first privately funded liquid-fueled rocket to reach orbit. This success was a turning point for SpaceX and the industry. In terms of cost, a Falcon 9 launch is estimated to be around $62 million, significantly lower than traditional launch costs. The reusability aspect of the Falcon 9 has been a key factor in reducing these costs. For comparison, a Delta IV heavy rocket launch by the United Launch Alliance can cost upwards of $350 million. And in 2023, SpaceX significantly increased its launch frequency, achieving a total of 98 rocket launches throughout the year. This marked a substantial increase from the previous year, where SpaceX had 61 launches. The launches in 2023 consisted of a mix of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Additionally, there were two test flights of the Starship rocket. This record-breaking number of launches was a huge milestone for SpaceX, as it represented the highest annual launch frequency for the company to date. The Falcon 9 rocket, in particular, became the most launched rocket in the world, carrying over 1 million kilograms of payload to orbit in 2023. A significant factor in SpaceX's record-breaking launch frequency was their advanced booster recovery and reuse technology. They successfully landed and reused the first stages of their Falcon rockets over 260 times. However, for a long time, SpaceX primarily focused on booster recovery, often discarding the fairings, which cost about $6 million each. Considering this as a substantial waste and a financial burden, SpaceX has recently innovated a genius solution to recover and reuse these fairings as well. SpaceX initially focused on capturing the fairings using specialized ships like Ms. Tree and Ms. Chief, equipped with large nets. These ships were designed to catch the fairing halves as they descended under parachutes. However, this method had its challenges and didn't consistently yield successful results. To improve the recovery rate, SpaceX shifted to a more reliable and straightforward method, which is recovering fairings from the ocean. The fairings would then softly splash down in the ocean, where recovery ships equipped with cranes would retrieve them. This change in strategy led to a significant improvement in recovery efficiency and became SpaceX's standard procedure. Traditionally, in the space industry, fairings were regarded as expendable parts of a rocket. This significantly contributed to the overall costs of space missions, as each launch required the manufacturing of new fairings. For instance, the Space Shuttle, which was operational from 1981 to 2011, had a reported average cost of about $450 million per launch. While the shuttle's orbiter and solid rocket boosters were reusable, many other components, including the external tank and other protective materials, were not. This non-reusability was a significant factor in the high operational costs. Similarly, the Saturn V had an estimated cost of approximately $185 million per launch in 1969, equivalent to over $1.2 billion today, when adjusted for inflation. These missions also did not have the capability to recover and reuse fairings or many other rocket components. 
Considering that the manufacturing cost of a single fairing half is around $3 million, and assuming each launch used a set of fairings, the savings per launch could have been significant. For example, with the Space Shuttle's 135 missions, if fairing reuse had been possible and implemented, the total savings could theoretically reach into the hundreds of millions of dollars over the program's lifetime. The savings from reused fairings and boosters can be reinvested into further missions and development. For instance, the cost savings from 300 recovered fairings could fund additional Falcon 9 missions or a significant number of Starship launches. Speaking of Starship, SpaceX is preparing for its third launch, which is an eagerly anticipated event. This third test flight of the Starship is scheduled for February 2024. It comes after SpaceX conducted static fire tests of both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship upper stage in late December 2023. One of the primary goals for this test is to demonstrate propellant transfer capabilities, a critical technology for Starship's use in NASA's Human Landing System program for lunar missions. SpaceX's approach involves creating a propellant depot in low Earth orbit, which would be filled by a series of Starship tanker launches. This depot would then be used to fuel the lunar lander Starship for its journey to the moon. The vice president of SpaceX stated that approximately 10 refueling launches might be needed for a Starship lunar lander mission. SpaceX is aiming for an ambitious goal of 144 launches for 2024, which averages out to about 12 launches per month. This plan marks a significant increase in their launch rate. The launches will primarily involve Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. SpaceX's launch system is designed to be capable of up to 13 launches per month, allowing for flexibility to manage any delays due to maintenance or technical issues. Most of these launches will likely take place from Florida, with a significant number expected from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The completion of a new crew access tower at SLC-40 has enhanced SpaceX's launch capabilities, allowing it to handle more Dragon missions. Additionally, SpaceX's Starship, while not included in the 144 launch goal, is also progressing with tests and could contribute to the overall number of SpaceX launches by the end of the year. Looking to the future, SpaceX's goal of achieving full reusability with the Starship represents a monumental step in space exploration. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.